We'd like to start the press conference uh, by Foreign Minister Mr. Motegi. Over to you, Ms. Minister. Thank you. Uh, with regard to uh, the demise of uh, Mr. Yukio Okamoto, uh, in the face of uh, this uh, sudden uh, news, uh, it is with great sorrow that I face this news in the ministry and as advisor to the Prime Minister, he's been involved in uh, the Gulf uh, War and Okinawa issue and Japan-US uh, security issues. Uh, various uh, difficult issues are those that he tackled. About uh, 20 years ago, when I was a State Minister of for Foreign Affairs uh, for Iraq uh, resurrection, we worked together. And so we are colleagues uh, working together on the same issue. In Iraq, uh, when uh, Mr. Oku and Mr. Inoue was uh, shot to death, uh, uh, Mr. Okamoto cried. And I uh, very uh, distinctly rec have recollections of his dying, uh, crying. Uh, a man crying had uh, strong uh, Im impressions on me. Uh, resurrection of uh, the great eastern earthquake-ridden uh, countries and uh, the nurturing of the younger generation is uh, something that he worked uh, with uh, with very much uh, passion. And for Japan and for the world, uh, he had great passion, and we'd like to succeed uh, this uh, attitude. Uh, he uh, repeatedly paid visits uh, to the uh, ground, local scene, and uh, he listened to people on the ground, and uh, many were deeply uh, impressed and moved uh, uh, to see uh, uh, Mr. Okamoto in this way. And uh, he has many friends uh, in the United States and uh, in the world. And this is an attestation to his personality. I'd like to reminisce about his uh, great uh, achievements, and I'd like to pray for the repose of his soul. As for the regular reports uh, regarding uh, the Japanese uh, leaving the country that they're in and being uh, de repatriated, the, uh, there has been a further increase in the number which have departed and been repatriated. The total number is 8,900. And uh, there are still those uh, wishing to depart and be returned to Japan. Uh, the number has uh, decreased. Uh, they are in 30 countries, and the number is approximately 250. And of the 250, there are those who are scheduled to depart the country and be repatriated very soon. And the number is 50 for these persons. So steadily, we are accumulating good results. And then there are new people wishing to leave their country and to be repatriated, the country that they're in, and to be repatriated. Uh, the number uh, constantly changes, but uh, the ministry would like to uh, pr give fully, full consideration to the status of Japanese overseas to provide uh, information and to work on local authorities uh, to secure the safety and support. And. Uh, uh, there is a preceding cooperation between countries regarding repatriations of uh, citizens. On the 4th of uh, May, uh, 57 uh, left uh, the country, Peru, uh, 67 left uh, Peru uh, via and came back to Japan via uh, Mexico and 100 uh, Peruvians overseas uh, used the same flight uh, to return to Peru, and this included the Japanese uh, in, uh, the Peruvians in Japan. And uh, on the 4th of uh, May, a flight uh, departed Delhi and uh, returned to Haneda on the 5th of May, and this was a special flight of uh, Japan Airlines, and uh, this was a Korean girl with leukemia and her family. And uh, the family returned uh, to uh, South Korea on the 5th of May. Uh, from a humanitarian uh, standpoint, uh, uh, we had cooperation from Japan Airlines uh, to uh, do this. Uh, we'd like to uh, express my appreciation uh, to all those who have been involved. Uh, from uh, Foreign Minister uh, Kang Yongfa, I had a uh, letter of thanks uh, in the very difficult circumstances for Japan uh, and South Korea to uh, cooperate. Uh, I believe uh, this was a good uh, case, uh, an emblematic case of uh, bilateral cooperation. So from the standpoint of uh, bilateral cooperation, I think uh, it was a very good cooperation that we could see. So uh, cooperation with respective countries are proceeding, and uh, we evaluate uh, this very highly going forward. 
with regard to Japanese uh, that are overseas and uh, those are traveling to secure their safety and for those who wish to do so to realize their rep repatriation, we'd like to make our best efforts. And that is all for me. Uh, we'd like to now uh, entertain questions. Uh, if you have a question, please uh, proceed to the microphone and state your name and affiliation before you state your question. Thank you. Harakawa-san. Harakawa from Sankei Shinbun. I asked this last week, but regarding Avigan, I understand that delivery of uh, the drug has uh, asserted uh, yesterday, from what I heard. For those countries who wish to receive the drug, the number of uh, countries uh, with which coordination has already been completed. Uh, what is the current status, if you could share the current status with us? Regarding Avigan, as I've said many times, there is very strong interest uh, being shown by a large number of countries. Uh, from close to 80 countries uh, through diplomatic channels, we have received uh, requests uh, to supply the drug uh, to them. Estonia is the first uh, country so we decided uh, to deliver the drug to Estonia. Uh, for 43 countries, uh, we have already completed uh, coordination specifically. Uh, regarding the supply of drug to Estonia, yesterday we had a teleconference uh, with uh, the foreign minister of Estonia. Uh, delivery of uh, Avigan, uh, we discussed uh, with the uh, foreign minister Rain Salu, and uh, he expressed uh, appreciation to us for that. And uh, via UNOPS, uh, uh, we will continue to coordinate. Uh, we are coordinating for a number of other countries uh, through UNOPS, and so we will make sure to supply the drug uh, to them in order. Luxembourg, Albania, Georgia, Hungary, for these countries soon. In the next several days, uh, uh, we will arrange for the delivery from what I'm told. Next question, please. Oyama-san, please. Yomiuri Shinbun, Oyama. On uh, North Korea, I'd like to ask about the situation there. The uh, status uh, with regard to Kim Jong-un uh, was uh, recently reported uh, near Pyongyang Airport. Uh, Missile-related uh, uh, facilities are being built, uh, according to reports, on the North Korean situation. Uh, what is your view? With regard to North Korea, including the uh, military aspects, uh, uh, we have a great interest uh, and uh, we are focusing and analyzing. Uh, Chairman Kim Jong-un and his uh, personal whereabouts. On the 2nd of uh, May, uh, North Korean media uh, reported that on the 1st of May, uh, Chairman Kim uh, visited a fertilizer plant uh, uh, to uh, attend uh, their ceremony for completion of the facility. And uh, that is my understanding. And uh, with regard to the new ballistic missile facility and the construction thereof, uh, uh, there are such uh, activities going on. Uh, there are information uh, which is uh, public, and then uh, there's information uh, through intelligence. Uh, with regard to various activities and various uh, uh, information, we uh, come across these. And uh, with regard to the uh, North Korea, we'd like to liaise closely with uh, the United States uh, to collect information and to analyze. Thank you. Next question, please. Any other questions? If not, we would like to conclude the press conference. Thank you for your attendance.